Okay, YouTube viewers, that as you might have read in the title, um, this is a tutorial on Terraria Xbox 360 edition on how to get ectoplasm. So I have some seventy, I have seventy-five ectoplasm right here. So, and the way to get ectoplasm is after you kill Plantera, you go to the dungeon and kill a dungeon spirit or stuff like that. So, I, and the, and the dungeon, Skeletron's dungeon can also drop stuff in there, can drop, like, a shadow beam staff, and a, um, what is it called, key brand, and also, so, and a rocket launcher, and some other things, but, it can drop many things, it, Skeletron's dungeon is a very resourceful place after you have defeated Plantera. So, almost there. Okay, so now that we're almost by Skeletron's dungeon, that we can now we can probably get ectoplasm re real fast. Okay, we're almost there. So here it is, the Skeletron's Dungeon. So let's go get some ectoplasm. Sometimes blue armored bones drop it, so... Well, for me they have, but it's pretty rare for them to drop it. They don't do it very often. See, that one didn't drop anything. Some of the same monsters are in here as be as it is before you killed Plantera, but most of them are different. See, that blue armor bones just dropped ectoplasm, see? Right there, ectoplasm material. So let's see what it can be used as for a material. Let's see what it can be used for. So it can be used as a spectra hammock, a spectra pickaxe, ghost wings, spectra robe, spectra pants, spectra hood, Spectra paintbrush, Spectra paint scraper, Spectra paint roller, Naughty present, and a pumpkin moon medallion. It can be used as all of those. It can be used to make all of those things. So, thanks for watching.